America, it's great to see all of you, and I'm sure it's likewise. Must be hard to concentrate on the valuable insights delivered each night here when you're distracted by the handsomeness of the messenger. <laughs> it must be like trying to read a book at a nude beach <laughs> in Sweden. Sometimes I wish I was homely so people would take me seriously. It's the edge that other people have over me. <laughs> so, the news industry is like San Francisco after taco night. It's in deep doo-doo. Anyway, according to Axios, the news site, not the Greek personal trainer who stole my Amex card, <laughs> engagement with news content is plummeting like Brian Stelter skydiving with a malfunctioning ripcord. They blame it on the public being tired of the constant barrage of bad headlines. But like Shannon Bream's little goody two-shoes routine, I don't buy that for a second. <laughs> Axios claims cable viewership is down 19% in primetime in the first half of the year for CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News. I told Fox Jesse would have that effect, but they didn't listen. <laughs> it sucks until you actually read further. And I quote, those losses skew heavily towards CNN and MSNBC. Wait, wait, I'm not done. Which are down 47 and 33% respectively. Fox ratings are up 12%. Yeah, but, but what the hell? What the hell? Why did you group them together and say they all went down on average? <laughs> when only two did. That's like lumping Michael Jordan in with the Buffalo Bills and the French Army. <laughs> they also claimed that cable news saw a drop compared to pre-pandemic levels with, again, three networks down 15% in prime time until they then say MSNBC and CNN are down 16 and 35% respectively, and Fox is up. <laughs> so again, why? <laughs> Don't lump us in with Andrea Mitchell unless I also get to sleep with Alan Greenspan. <laughs> I hear he's an animal. <laughs> but it's no surprise they pull this crap. And it's also no surprise to see CNN and MSNBC go down as we rise. They suck and we don't. That should be our new slogan. Let's compare. Here's CNN. If you're not going to get vaccinated, you don't want to social distance, you don't want to wear a mask, then maybe you don't want to go to the hospital when you get sick. Looking ahead to 2020, uh, one reason why I'm taking you seriously oh. as a contender is because of your presence on cable news. Oh, the crunch. <laughs> mm. Do I have a wing hanging out of my mouth? You were on a Zoom call with your colleagues. <laughs> Everyone took a break for several minutes, during which time you were caught oh, no. masturbating on camera. Oh, my God. Classic. Oh. That's CNN, but oh. here's Fox. <laughs> yeah. But uh, here's MSNBC. When a petulant and not so bright billionaire casually bought one of the world's most influential messaging machines, and just handed it to the far right. You gotta stop complaining when there's so many people who literally the inflation rate means they may only have two meals instead of three. And yeah, it's costing you more for gas, but guess what? You're still gonna take that holiday. We are essentially slaves to a document that was written you know, more than 230 years ago by a tiny group of white slave-owning men. No. Oh. So that's MSNBC. Again, here's Fox. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's pretty obvious why they're in trouble. But Axios blames exhaustion. But is the exhaustion over bad news or fake news? Because if it were bad news, then it would hit us all equally. So it's really about fakeness and how it only flows from one direction. And that can only be why people are sick of them, but they're not sick of us. It's like saying people aren't eating as much pizza because they're sick of it, but when you look closer, it's frozen pizza. Not Papa John's or Domino's. <laughs> Better get free pizza out of that. So they're not sick of pizza, they're sick of bad pizza. So in the media, what exactly is this bad pizza?
Yeah, it's, it's time. I almost threw up. It's time to list all the major hoaxes that makes us hate the news. Well, not all of them, since this show is only an hour long, or actually 42 minutes, minus ads on buying gold and close-ups of Sebastian Gorka. <laughs> of course, there's Russian collusion, the Steele dossier, Trump calling Nazis fine people, the Russians paying bounties on American soldiers, Trump telling people to drink bleach, Trump overfed koi fish in Japan, <laughs> Trump cleared protesters with tear gas. The Border Patrol agents whipping illegals. Hunter's laptop was Russian disinfo. Whew, I need to breathe. Hold on. <laughs> okay, where was I? Oh, yeah, CRT's a hoax. January 6th was worse than 9-11. Men can get pregnant, which I know is total BS because I've been trying for years. <laughs> I don't have the hips. <laughs> Inflation is all Putin's fault, and of course, Bradley Cooper is dating Huma Abedin. Yeah, and I'm dating Anthony Weiner. <laughs> so it's not that we're sick of being told dark truths, it's that we're being lied to by stupid people who think we're stupid. Today, most news outlets are just high-tech versions of supermarket tabloids, the ones with headlines like, Amazing Rooster Cries Rocks That Cure Cancer. Axios also claims that the interest in the president went down a lot under Biden. They also claim that after Trump took office, he generated seven times more Google searches than Obama. But maybe that's because American presidents are more interesting if they're born here. An unhinged conspiracy freak would say. I said that for Shannon. <laughs> Could it be that Trump was more interesting? Perhaps. But the glut of anti-Trump stories, which were revealed later as fake, created a lot of the interest. And the stories were all bad. They were never good. Not once was there a fake story about Trump refusing to get peed on by a hooker. <laughs> so you see how Axios undermines its own point. It's bad news that got clicks. But now they stop those hoaxes. The press refuses to paint their boy in that light, so they'll just settle for bad numbers and call it exhaustion. So it wasn't the public that lost interest. It was the media who deliberately lost interest in doing an honest day's work. Instead, the hoaxes now protect those in power. Hoaxes like, the adults are back in charge. Hey, Joe's a moderate. No, Joe had no idea what Hunter was up to. No, Joe's not corrupt, and he's definitely not senile, and Joe can do 200 one-arm push-ups. <laughs> And get this, his wife is a doctor. <laughs> a medical doctor. Ah, love her. Anyway, so they claim we're tired of bad news. No, we just got tired of the lies. The blinders are now off, and we see the industry for what it is. It's a conveyor belt of misinformation, a sausage factory turning out sausage that tastes like styrofoam soaked in cat urine with a hint of fennel. <laughs> Getting hungry. They're paid liars, like the refs for the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how we went from Walter Cronkite to Cliff Clavin, from reporting facts to telling tall tales. Or maybe it's always been Cliff Clavin and we really never knew. But it's different here at Fox. We don't hoax you. We just want to have a good time. And you can't do that without trust. And at Gutfeld, trust is our safe word. <laughs> Although I do have a habit of ignoring those. <laughs> yes, welcome tonight's guest. She's so sweet that sugar sends her hate mail. Host of Fox News and Night Evil, Shannon Bree. I'd like to keep him overnight for observation. Safe word. Host of Dr. Drew After Dark, it's Dr. Drew. <laughs> She stays slim the old-fashioned way. Diet and tuberculosis. <laughs> Fox News contributor, Cat Tim. And he once gave the shirt off his back to cover the field during a rain delay. My master sidekick in the NWA World Television Champion. ESB. 
ESB is in the house, huh? Yes, that's right. That's and it right. is the number one question I get when I'm outside of Fox. And it's why you. How evil. did you get this evil nickname? Well, they want to know the truth, but of course I can't. You should tell just them. respond with, "Now you're going to find out." <laughs> yeah. and, just punch and then they just black out and stab over. him in the eye with a pencil. <laughs> so. Why do you think people are sick of the other guys, but they're not sick of us? First of all, I'm surprised that they included the good Fox numbers in there. Like, yeah. you know they didn't want to write this article, including all that positive stuff for us. Your show's definitely not suffering, and the show after your show, also not suffering. <laughs> yes. Leading the way. Um, <laughs> we're trying to be strong. I honestly feel like the people who watch the other outlets, they're often going to be fans of the left, fans of the Democrats, fans of the president, and he's having such a rough time. The poll numbers are terrible, starting from Afghanistan and the, mm -hmm. the disastrous withdrawal that cost us 13 additional lives there from our brave uh, men and women. All the way through now, it's been one scandal after another. I don't think it's fun for them to watch. It's not like when they had President Trump as a punching bag. Now their guy is there, um, and there's not good news on him. Yeah, Trump was a lot of fun. Even when they were trashing him, it was fun to watch when you d didn't even agree with it because he always fought back. You know, we've talked about this, Dr. Drew, at length, sometimes on TV, sometimes privately in my, my uh, basement. Safe word, trust, <laughs> trust, trust, trust. <laughs> Safe word. You could argue that the new, watching the news isn't healthy. Oh. You it can, you, I mean, you could feel yourself changing if you watch something or go on social media, right? Uh, the, the, this is no longer something that's just a hypothesis. It's obvious to everyone. Take some time off the news or off social media. See if you don't feel better. You immediately will. But I, I, as you were, during your monologue, I was thinking, what is, I am exhausted. I am so exhausted. Yeah. yeah. Not your show. Mm. Funny. Have fun. Have a good time. And I thought, I wonder if it's really Trump derangement we're, we're sick of. Mm -hmm. It's just they are, he's been gone how long now? Years? Year and, and they still have this derangement where it's just going and the anxiety and the, the vitriol is just, it's just exhausting. It's too much. You know what he, they have? They have long derangement. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right? Won't go away. Cat. Sure. <laughs> Is it just me or have you given up? <laughs> no, this is me trying. <laughs> so what do you think? You, can, you, can the media be saved? Like, CNN is trying to change. They're trying to change. We, no, we've heard that they're trying to change. I have, have there been changes? I don't know because I don't watch it. Yeah. Uh, but I think that, uh, like, there's, it's not really news. And that was the, the CNN's thing forever, is that we just do news. Yeah. And then obviously that changed. And so much of what is called news now is just a guy telling you what he thinks about stuff. Right. <laughs> and, like, what you should think about stuff. And there's already an oversaturation of that in the wild. So I don't think we need that on TV also. You know, I like to just watch, like, fun things on TV. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Like forensic files. Yes. When people <laughs> kill each other and bury yeah, their loved mom. ones. Yeah, teen mom. Yeah, teen mom too. Teen mom young and pregnant. Um, <laughs> young and pregnant. Um, addicted and pregnant. It's really sad, though, and you look them up on Facebook ever after, and they're not doing well. No Cyrus, <laughs> uh, the worst part about the news, I think, and is that I, I think Kat kind of touches on it. Everybody's kind of doing the same thing, right? They're like, they're, they rip off each other. They just, they travel in packs. My teen is pregnant, and so am I. That's the one I forgot. <laughs> She's like microwave popcorn <laughs> near the end. Yeah. There might be another pop. Yeah. Right. yeah. They're not really doing the same thing, and I have to defend CNN a little bit here. Mm -hmm. they, they did bring in a newsman. Yeah. So, you know, Chris Wallace is getting a show <laughs> on the network. <laughs> it's called Raising Arizona. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh. He's got a two. Oh, but, I, but, hey, they're bringing in a news guy, so, you know... <laughs> <laughs> they got that going for them. Um, they just don't tell the news. I think it's okay to not have a lot of ratings if you're just giving the news. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. If, if you're being straight and telling the news and people aren't tuning in, that means they're living their lives and there's nothing to be paranoid about. Mm -hmm. But when your entire show is based off of crying wolf, or in this case, crying Trump, mm -hmm. which they are already leaking, like he's going to announce he's running next weekend. Mm -hmm. So they're already leaking stuff, trying to get people to tune in so he would announce. Mm -hmm. And why would he announce now? Like, it's, it's a long time away. But they miss him so much. Yeah. And that's, they just believe that don't change too much. We'll bring in Wallace. They'll get everyone revved up and excited. <laughs> and while everyone's revved up and excited, then we can wait for Trump to come back. They, he's going to come back. No so one's we'll ever be been revved up and excited by Chris Wallace. Not even Chris Wallace. No. <laughs> they love hysteria. They love it. Yeah. Walking in here, TNN.com, really walking down the hall here. 
The worst variant is here. I saw that. The, and I went, it's, it's, yes, it's more infectious and much milder. We it are is. doing that in the next segment. I was going to uh, ask you about that because their headline was The worst variant. It's, it's the worst variant. Yeah. And here I thought that was me. Mm. <laughs> uh, different kind of trust, trust. Yeah, trust. Safe word. Safe word. <laughs> Shannon, <laughs> you minx. <laughs> no one ever uses that word. I like it. Probably or for a reason, maybe. I don't know. Don't go to HR. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.